Hello, this is JJ from Budget Zero. It's time for me to get a better microphone. I had a $10 microphone that I bought from eBay two years ago, but right now it is not meeting my needs enough. Spoiler alert! This is how it actually sounds after some minor tweaking to the audio gain that I will show you how to do it later in this video. I'll be doing voiceover throughout this video using my new microphone and then I'll compare it using my even cheaper condenser microphone. But right now, let's rewind time to when I'm unboxing it. So here is our beautifully packaged microphone kit from Mauno. And you can, I'm going to show you the four dimensions of this box. Here you can see some of the features. At the back of the box, we have some technical information which people can pause and look as long as they want. First, this is a USB plug and play microphone kit which comes with foam windscreen, pop filter, shock mount, an arm stand, a 3 meter long USB A to USB USB cable, a G clamp to mount your arm stand onto the table, and some random stuff. Most of them are made of some sort of metal. The microphone itself is really solid. It doesn't feel cheap at all with a nice weight on it. It has a modern looking design which is small and compact. Unlike the Blue Yeti and Snowball microphone which in my opinion is too big and weird looking. Don't you think this looks like Mike from Monster University? The setup is actually pretty straightforward but I just took a really long time to figure out the positioning of my microphone. Make sure you point its logo towards you so that you can pick up whatever sound that is right in front. I decided to put down my desktop so that there is more space and I'll be putting my microphone stand right behind my table. That way I have more flexibility and it won't hinder my movement. In terms of positioning, I totally depend it on my audio gain level and my preference. However, a simple Google search states that 6 to 12 inches from your mouth to the microphone is the best. One of the biggest cons of this microphone is that it does not have an audio gain control on the microphone itself unlike the more expensive Blue Yeti. Okay, the audio isn't automatically that clear at the beginning when you plug and play. So many beginners when they get a microphone like this and when they start recording, they feel that their voice is so unclear because of the background noise and the buzzing sounds. And they immediately thought they had a, like, a cheap microphone since they bought something like this which is just around $50. No, it's not how this kind of microphone works because the default gain is the maximum. It, will, it is really sensitive to voice and it's going to pick up all the background noises of your room. So you need to manually adjust the audio gain in your computer's audio system. The way to adjust your microphone's audio gain is simply right clicking your sound icon, go to sounds and then a pop-up will appear like this. Go to recordings and then scroll down and you'll see your mono microphone or other names. So just right click that, go to properties and then go to levels. So as you can see, this is the audio gain. So right now it's at level 60. So if I increase to 100, you can hear my voice being gain or even louder. And if I'm quiet a bit, you can start hearing some background noises. If I pull my voice recorder, as you can see here, you can see the difference. So right now it's at 60. As you can see, the circle moving means it is picking up the level of noises. So if I've increased it to 100, you can see it picking up even more noises or sound or voice. And if I decrease it, you can barely hear anything. Since lowering your audio gain level will decrease your recording input, therefore if you want to go a step further, many people will go to their favorite video editor such as Premiere Pro, Shortcut, DaVinci Resolve, or even some music software such as GarageBand or free ones like Audacity to tune their audio recording. 
So this is a bit more advanced that it is optional to do it, but it can really make your recording sound so much better. Since I want it to be at around negative six to zero level, I will just right click in my Premiere Pro software and go to my audio gain. And then I will just increase the gain by around three. And as you can see, it has already increased a bit. If I want to completely remove the background noise, I can either add some background music or I go to the effects. This is only specifically to Premiere Pro, but I can go to effects and search up denoise and then I'm going to add it to my audio. Therefore, you can't really hear any like background noises. So if I remove the denoise, you can see some bumping. And if I remove it, you can you can't hear, you can't really hear at least. This is how I personally judge whether a condenser microphone is good or bad, normally within the budget range. It is by comparing what I call the voice to background noise ratio. What I meant is the better the microphone, the clearer the voice with minimal background noise. Okay, right now let's first compare it with the $10 microphone since we have already listened to how nice the voice sounds in this mono microphone. So let's try out the cheaper one to see how it sounds like. Okay, right now I've already plugged in the new microphone and you can see this is actually recording from the cheaper microphone. This is recording my audio. And if I go to my properties of my this microphone, so and go to levels, as you can see, it is at 26. At this point, I believe that you can hear a lot of buzzing sound. The higher you put it, you can hear the more the buzzing sound mixes with my voice recording. All just mixes, and I really, really don't like how it sounds at all. So this is the proof of a cheap microphone since like the buzzing sound normally comes from the electromagnetic waves it produces when it turns on okay right now let's switch to my better microphone to compare and right now the level is at 100 so if i quit if i keep quiet a moment you will hear all these background noises as you can hear, you can hear the bzzz, It's not something like buzzing sound. Buzzing sound comes from the electronic itself, but background noises from a condenser microphone is totally normal. For this video, I hope you find it meaningful. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Budget Zero, peace out.